Hi, y'all. Welcome to another nighttime reset clean with me. Now, don't get fooled by how bright it is outside, okay? I live in Wyoming. It's not my fault. The sun sets at like 10 p.m. So it is after dinner and the kids are playing outside with my husband, getting their last little bit of energy out. And I'm deciding to use my last little bit of energy to get some cleaning done because there's absolutely nothing better than waking up to a clean house, at least in my opinion. So I'm just starting in the living room really quickly, just wiping everything down with my Miss Myers multi-surface cleaning spray. I'm using the lemon verbena scent. I'm using like basically lemon everything right now because it's just so springy and fresh and clean to me. And I I love that. Just giving every little surface a really good wipe down and then I'm just going to quickly pick up. I am so happy I went back to no toys in the living room policy except for literally two stuffed animals. So the picking up process is super quick and easy in here. I'm just going to kind of dust the dog hair and random stuff off of the throw pillows and those two stuffed animals, throw them in this cute little basket and do the same thing with my throw pillows before I throw them back where they're supposed to be on the couch. And then I'm just going to hit everything with a good vacuum and I'm doing the quick vacuum on the couch today. I literally just throw that whole sucker up there and vacuum my couch as if I'm vacuuming the floor, but it actually works. I literally did not do this a majority of the time. I just randomly did it one day and was like, oh my gosh, it actually works so good and now I can't stop. So I'm going to vacuum the floor as best I can, trying to be really thorough. I do have two small kids that go in and out all day and two humongous dogs that shed and also go in and out all day. So I do vacuum every single day. Well, I will say five days a week. I clean and do my stay-at-home mom stuff Monday through Friday and I do take weekends off, which I highly recommend. But yeah, five days a week I vacuum and most of those days I also mop. So I'm going to get into that right now. Mopping or vacuuming really, really well and then mopping well with my new tidy and spin. What is it? True and tidy, true and tidy spin mop that I'm absolutely in love with. If you want a full review, I'll pop the video right here. But long story short, I freaking love this thing. course I try to mop every single little area moving the coffee tables and things out of the way that's why I really love these coffee tables they are from Amazon I love that they're super easy to move we used to have a big bulky one up here and it just got so annoying trying to mop and vacuum around it so I'm glad I have these very easy to move ones now of course I have to finish everything off with some delicious room spray I'm using the lemon and sage one from as well at Walmart absolutely in love with it and I was starting to sweat so I also turned on the fan. I don't know what it is, but every single house in Wyoming does not have ceiling fans. Like what is that about? So I have our old vintage fan that I absolutely love and it's extremely, extremely powerful. So I got that baby going and now we're moving on to the dining room. And since it's spring and it's lovely outside today, I just get those chairs right outside onto the back porch to be out of my way completely. That way I don't have to map vacuum and mop around them and I'm just going to give this table a very good wipe down as you know with two little kids the table can just get absolutely disgusting as well as the floor around where my kids sit and their chairs absolutely gross I do deep deep clean the chairs once a month and I have a deep cleaning video coming up really soon I'm really excited about that so if you want some deep cleaning motivation as well, stay tuned. And I also have a ton of deep cleaning videos already on my channel if you're curious about that. It's always linked down below. I also wipe off my little coffee corner over here. And now I'm going to vacuum and mop over here really well. I've just been loving going room by room lately. I used to wait until the very end and vacuum and mop the whole floor all in one go because I have like an open concept in this area of my house. But 
I don't know, lately I've just been liking doing it room by room. It just makes it seem like everything is just totally complete and I don't have this one gigantic task at the end when I'm done kind of cleaning the countertops and everything, if that makes sense. So gonna vacuum super well in here. I don't usually remember i'm trying really hard to remember to get some good before shots for you guys i don't always remember but trust me like i said i have dogs and kids that go in and out of this back door right here all day long and this is also where my kids eat and the dogs do lick up a lot of the stuff but they don't get every single thing so trust me these floors are absolutely gross am mopping with the mr clean cleaning solution in the lemon scent as well everything is lemon scented here i keep it very on theme so once that's all mopped up and dry i'm going to move all of the chairs back inside and then i have this candle warmer over here with another lemon thing it has the lemon pound cake i think the scent is from bath and body works smells absolutely delish and this is my little aster girl one of the dogs they are absolutely unfazed by my cleaning at this point. She is napping right through that vacuum and all the hustle and bustle. She spent all morning outside, so she's just taking a nice little snooze here while I get her other resting spots clean. So now I'm going on to the kitchen, and of course I have to clear off this catch-all of a island it just has every single freaking thing on it random cleaning supplies random medicine i do have an 18 month old who is teething right now i'm trying to help him out it's not going too great he's just very grumpy can you blame him it freaking hurts to have teeth come in so i'm gonna just put everything where it actually belongs and then wipe off this island really well as well and i actually had to go over a couple areas twice because i just had some stuck on gunk and grime some sauces and things like that and just stuff that gets really sticky so give that a very good wipe down and then we're gonna move on to these dishes I also quickly wipe down the handle right here on the fridge. I do sometimes get some comments and questions about like my house really not being that dirty to begin with. I mean, trust me, you guys, sometimes I get comments that it is and it gets really bad in here. But in some other videos, you probably see that I'm staying on top of it more than not. And that is exactly why I try my best. I'm not 100% all the time. But I do try my best to have a if you see it, do it policy like just now. There is a bunch of gross smudges and sticky stuff all over the handles and the door of the fridge. And I just quickly wiped it. It's not perfect. You know, I wiped stainless steel with a multi-surface cleaner, so it's going to be left a little bit streaky. But at least it's not dirty and sticky when you go to grab the handle, if that makes sense. So if you can, I used to not be like this and it used to be a lot more stressful to clean up, but if you have a clean as you go or when you see it, do it type of policy, it will definitely help with things not piling up. So when you do actually have a set time to clean, there just won't be as much to get through all at once. And like I said, I'm not perfect. Trust me, if you've seen some of my other videos, even recently, there are times that I get behind and I have to load the dishwasher two or three times in a day just to get caught up on the dishes. And you know, life gets like that sometimes. Sometimes you're tired, you know, sometimes you don't feel like cleaning and that's completely fine. But on the days that you do have motivation, it is good to just kick it in the butt and do it when you see it, if that makes sense. Definitely helps to keep on top. So I loaded everything that I could into the dishwasher and then I just hand washed everything that couldn't go, which is basically just all the knives and stuff from the knife block. They will, I'm sure they'll survive the dishwasher, but little random thing is that your Knives will definitely dull a lot faster if you put them in the dishwasher. So I try not to. And again, if you see it, do it. Saw some splatters on the counter right here. Just wiped them off really quick. Takes an extra 30 seconds. No big deal. 
and now it's clean. And when I go to do my deep clean once a month, uh, towards the end of the month, it won't be as big of a of an issue, if that makes sense. And it won't just pile up all month long or all week long or whenever you do your big clean. Now I'm just going to put this little towel over here. I had some other hand wash things that wouldn't fit in the dishwasher and I just wanted to get them completely taken care of, just the crock pot and this little pan here that is a little bit worse for the wear and I can't really get a lot of stuff off of it. I think the like nonstick coating is messed up or something. So I usually just put foil over it anyway and I just clean it as best I can. And then of course, you got to clean out that sink. If there's two places in your house, they're going to harbor a lot of smells. It's going to be the kitchen sink and the kitchen trash. So make sure you stay on top of the sink. I'm just going to scrub this out really well with the lemon scented Dawn Power Wash. Give it a really, really good rinse with hot, hot water. And I'm going to run the garbage disposal as well to make sure there's nothing stuck in there. And then, of course, if you've seen any of my videos, you already know when it comes to glass and stainless steel, I'm going to wipe it down with half water, half vinegar. It is just the easiest thing. It gets off any soap, soap scum, water splatters, anything like that, and it leaves your stainless steel and your glass looking absolutely flawless. And since I didn't do any cooking on the stovetop, I didn't have to scrub it down today. I was just cooking in my crock pot today. So I just gave the stovetop and the microwave a quick little wipe down with that Miss Myers multi-surface cleaning spray. Now we are on to the floor in here, which is always a good sign. We are getting towards the end. Let me know what you guys are cleaning, if you are cleaning along with me, or if you are just sitting there getting motivated, let me know. That's cool too. I actually always watch other people's cleaning videos to get motivated, so I totally feel you on that. So now I'm just gonna vacuum as best that I can in here, and of course, give it a really good mop down, and put those stools back and call it a day in the kitchen. Here is the after of the kitchen and dining room and here is that dirty water pour. So delicious. I'm just going to dump this out and rinse out my mop bucket and then I'm going to clean this tub. So while I was cleaning the kitchen, of course, my husband was also doing bath time and everything with the kids. That is normally our routine. Um, he is a very hands-on dad and helps out a lot pretty much as soon as he gets home He is in dad mode So he likes to spend basically the entire evening with the kids getting in as much time as possible And I like to get back on top of the house and have some me time which is you know watching sex in the city and chilling eating snacks but today it's cleaning so now I'm going to clean out their bathtub especially after their bath I don't know what it is if anybody else's kids are the same but I swear there's literally like mud in the bath after each one of their baths it's crazy and then I did that dirty water dump on top of that so this thing definitely needs a good clean I do like to use Dawn Power Wash in my bathrooms to clean a lot of stuff because it just works incredible in my opinion and then I just put up this clear uh shower curtain the other day I don't know why I didn't think about this way way sooner it's literally two dollars and it keeps all those splashes inside the tub and you can still see your kids like what for the longest time I wanted one of those things that attaches to the side of your tub and like comes out and you can attach it and it's like $45 and I just never got around to getting it because it wasn't that serious for the splashes and then all of a sudden I'm like wait a minute why would you pay $45 for this thing you have to attach and it's all hard and you have to line it up when you can literally just get a clear shower curtain for $2 like what the heck did I just figure out a life hack for some reason I don't why is nobody talking about that? Anyway, here I was just pointing out like this is what happens when you ask your husband to get something. I know this is the kids bathroom, but it's also our guest bathroom. Like why would you get dinosaur theme? But it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, whatever. 
they needed a toothbrush holder and he got one that they thought that he thought they would like. And I guess that's all that matters. So whatever. It just doesn't go with my little theme. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. Now I'm just going to quickly clean the toilets. So delish after I clean the uh, countertops and put everything back. Oh yeah. And if you see all my husband's stuff in here in the guest bathroom, it's because he gets ready in here in the morning so that he doesn't wake me up. So that is why you kind of might always notice that there's like toothpaste and charging stuff and beard stuff in here. That is because he gets ready in this bathroom. So after that is all clean and I took out the trash, I'm going to replace all the towels in here. I like to do this little alternating thing because secretly I use the dark colored one on the floor during bath time. So there's the towels are secretly color coded for me. But if you come in here as a guest, you'd probably never know. You just think I'm weird and have decorative towels, I guess. I guess that's not that weird, but yeah. So the last thing for this video is going to be me cleaning some towels. I love to use OxyClean on my towels, especially because I usually get makeup all over them and it works like a charm. And then of course, once they're done, I highly recommend checking your dryer for a steam sanitize setting. I love to use that setting on my towels and my bedding. And like I said, don't blame me. I finished cleaning at 8.52 and the sun still hadn't set, you guys. So I promise it was nighttime when I was cleaning. It's just that I live in Wyoming. So that is the end of this video. If you are still cleaning along with me, there is an entire playlist right here on the screen and always linked down below along with my other YouTube channel, my Instagram, and my TikTok if you want to follow me everywhere. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.